My name is Kieran Casey. I work for the National Monument Services in the OPW in Killarney. Uh, I'm in uh, phase six or phase five of my apprenticeship as a stone cutter, stone mason. Um, just to show you some of the projects I'm working on at the moment. Um, here is a piece I did for my phase three uh, one of the projects. So it was um, to do uh, a banker piece, which was to make the, the scroll itself. Uh, it carried it for a number of projects. So there was also uh, lettering as part of it and relief carving as another part. So as I started removing material off of this stone, which is a uh, Portland limestone, uh, I found a, a big fault inside in the piece. Um, which we weren't sure what to do, whether we'd uh, cut it out and graft a piece in, but I just said uh, I'd leave it there and tie it into the, the text of the, of the lettering. So I put um, the bitter truth is better than the sweetest lies to leave it there. And, um, and then on the side here is a, um, this is kind of like a Baroque style carving using um, a canthus leaf and um, yeah, so that was that was phase three piece, and here are just some of the drawings for some of the work we had to do beforehand. Um, and let's say to transfer this piece onto the stone, uh, we actually used um, a small projector, so you could adjust it around just because it's a bit of a, an unusual pattern, and it was just wanted to set it in right, so you could adjust in and out to get the exact kind of proportion correct, and then uh, trace over the projector, and then do your carving then after. Um, and then uh, this now is one of the pieces I'm working on for the phase five project. So this is um, a Celtic cross that uh, we're given the external dimensions to, to cut the stone to. And then after that, um, the kind of detail work and carving is left up to yourself. So for this piece, I went with a kind of, um, a kind of figurative kind of uh, gold leaf cross to the center, which uh, will need a bit more gold leafing. And um, the pattern through this is kind of um, inspired by, in a lot of sculpturing, let's say the use of kind of waves and hair. So it's a nice organic kind of flowing shape. So, um, and it's, it's quite forgiving when you're carving, so it's not too stiff. Uh, so there's a lot of room for, for adjustment in the design as you go. Um, it's just finished in with like a, a bull-nosed edge around, around the piece. So I decided to go with, uh, an eggshell finish to the to the circle on the inside here and then uh, polish to the outside and the, the inner section will be left as just natural kind of chisel mark we'll say so to speak the natural look of the stone so through this carving we use like um, a variety of mallets so this is like a, a nylon mallet it's for for a softer blow and then you're going to let's say um, Brass mallets are same kind of like it kind of goes in a grade from uh, carbon, high carbon steel, which is like a, a tougher steel, to iron, which is a softer kind of a metal again, and then to brass mallets. And as you go up, they give a incrementally kind of softer blow to the stone. And then the same with your chisels going along, you're starting from very small points down to tiny guys um, and then ranging up along and you're starting with all your flat chisel ranging from four mil up to some bigger guys and um, so thanks very much for listening guys I uh, hope you enjoy the video